My friends, I got Ron with me today and we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects and that is manufacturing. But what's more than manufacturing is when we dive in to these really sexy tools we have here. You guys know how often I talk about reducing the footprint inside a machine shop by taking multiple operations, op 10, 20, 30, 40, put it inside one machine, the capability of being able to do that, how we save time, how we save money, cost on everything all around it actually, and usually a better cycle time to go with it. Ron is the whiz. And as we dive in, what happens? What happens if you can take a cutting tool company that can do that same thing for you as well. So now you're reducing the overall times even more. Ron, I'm very happy to have you here. Really one of my favorite subjects. So let's talk about the concept of designing tools that allow people to take one or two operations and now do it within the one tool at five or six operations down to that one tool. How does that work? Well, first you contact Fullerton Tool and our engineering team and our um, quoting team will pass the information down and we'll take a look at your what machine type of machine you're using is it a milling center is it a turning center uh, and we can uh, check see what kind of clearance you're working with if it, if it allows we can design a tool that'll do multiple operations for you I love this concept because it really is something that we try to understand and preach more and more in manufacturing as spaces continue to become more condensed from the amount of machines we have there. We need partners like Fullerton to say, hey guys, I know you're trying to reduce overall setups. Maybe you're limited on your live tool holders and ties your turning center, whatever it might be, you have that capability. And not only do you have the capability, but you're moving pretty quickly with it as well with extremely high quality. Is it as simple as me giving you a call on your personal cell phone or going to your website and saying, I need something that can help me reduce. This is taking far too long. Can you help me with that? Yes, that's basically it. You call Fullerton Tool and they will get you in touch with the right people that can take a look at what you're doing and design you a cutting tool to do multiple operations in one, reducing your cycle time and possibly even reducing machining centers. Ron, I'm going to invite the audience in to look at this really beautiful tool we have here. I mean, get in close, guys. And while we're looking at this tool, Ron, would you mind describing what we're looking at and what the customer was able to benefit from having such a unique looking design tool? Yes, they were taking their part out of the Swiss style lathe. They were turning it, parting it out and taking it and putting it to a machining center where they were using multiple tools to generate this shape we were able to design a tool that would fit right in their live tooling bed of their lathe and they were actually able to turn it out, mill it out, part it and do away with the milling center completely. That that's fascinating to me because I hear stories more and more, Ron, about people utilizing turning centers in a milling capacity and being able to do similar things. But because I'm usually on the machine tool side of things, if I'm being honest, the audience knows we talk machine tools a lot. Sometimes I don't think about how much can be done from this side of the world, from a cutting tool side of the world? Okay, so I have chill bumps. I'm excited about the capabilities. I'm kind of moving up and down a little bit, guys. When I think about this concept, how easy is it for me to turn a concept or a theory or a possibility into a truth or a fact or something that we could actually implement into a machine like's behind us right now? I have, I, our lead time is down around 29 days right now. Wow, and that's for a completely custom theoretical idea I might just throw at you. Correct. Why? Wow. And so if that's the case, what do you have for some of your standard tools? Uh, well, we can do a 24-hour turnaround on a, on a standard tool. All right, Ron, well, we've gone over kind of how these things works, the concept, reducing the floor space, making room for more newer machines if we want to, how we can do this through cutting processes, but certainly these really gorgeous tools that we have sitting on the table right here. So my last question before I get you off of the hot seat today is where does this passion come from, Ron? Because when I talk to you, when I talk to the folks here at Fullerton, when I see the investment in technology and the core values that are here as well, where does the passion come through for you as we have demo parts here. I know you train people all the time. You have a tech center just over there and all of this comes together with a real love for the industry. Where does that come from for you? I love this industry and we need more people in this industry. Some say that manufacturing is a dying industry. I feel it is not a dying industry. We need younger people, new blood coming in, 
uh, that are excited about building and manufacturing. When you create a tool and the customer creates a part with it, it's, I don't know, there's just something about that that just gives me goosebumps. You and me both, brother, it matters. I mean, guys, I'm gonna look at you out there right now, and, and I say guys, but I mean guys and gals and everyone, we make everything around us. It's amazing. You can hear it in Ron's voice. We get chills together about exciting. It is not a dying industry. It is something we are all passionate about. People are getting excited. It's clean, as you can see. It's creative, as you can see. And yes, we are inspired as well because everything around us. Right, Ron? Exactly. I mean, maybe not you and me and the air we're breathing, but everything else is being made by manufacturing, it seems. Correct. Well, Ron, I appreciate your time today. I know it's not always easy to hop on camera. It's difficult for me as well sometimes. And I appreciate you taking a moment to share some of your successes about what happens when we combine these tools together. So reach out to Fullerton Tool anytime you have a concept or if you just need a high quality tool because they've invested in upwards of $20 million to make sure they can measure your tools. They're within microns, within tenths of the tools that need to be made for all of the high precision industries. And they actually have extra rigidity in some of their products as well if you're plowing through some of the harder materials because no one, no one wants a tool to get yanked out when they're plowing through a titanium piece. We know how expensive that can be. So Ron, thank you so much for your time. You are amazing. I look forward to learning more from you and I hope you invite us back in at some point. Definitely. Thank you.